Right, so I was sitting here one day and I was thinking, you know what? I think I can make my own TCG. So do you know what I did? I made my own TCG. And I'm going to show you guys how. Right, so first you'll need um, some paper and a pen. And what I actually did was I created law first. I didn't um, wait, I didn't come up with the mechanics, sorry, or the engine. Um, I literally made a story first, so I decided what it was going to be called. So in this case, it's going to be called Divinity. Yeah? And then I thought of a story. So I came up with the main antagonists in the story. That's not how you spell antagonist, I don't know how to spell it, I've just spelled it A-A-G-A-T-S. As you can tell my spelling is on point. <laughs> and um Hero. Then I came up with a story behind that. I basically yeah, I basically wrote a story. That's all there was to it. And then once I had the story in place and I knew the background, the mechanics kind of wrote themselves. So I knew in my game, for example, there are three houses. And in every and each house is run through So you have Uriel, you have BL, and you have Mikiel. So then I knew from there I have to get three decks. Okay, those are the three basic decks. Obviously you can add more later on. And then in every deck I then had to think, right, how does a deck play? What does the deck do? Because um, I'd written the story, these characters had already been formed, so Uriel was... Um, Protector, BL is basically a devil or a demon, and Michael is basically a guardian. So that made it easier, and I knew the deck mechanics of each one, but I didn't know exactly how the engines worked. So I knew that um, there would be light and there would be dark. Once I'd got that down, I then thought, right, I need my decks to work in a certain way, and I don't want my mechanics to be anything like Yu-Gi-Oh! Pokemon. Obviously, they're going to share similar features, because all card games do. It's, it's like you can't go and create a new car without four wheels, really. It's always going to have four wheels, and it's always going to look like a car, or resemble a car. It's, it's a car. This is a TCG. It's going to resemble a... TCGs in the past. So I came up with like mechanics and then once I've done that I went to Excel and then I went down and I created as many cards as I knew I wanted in the set. So <clears throat> so I knew that this set had to have 113 cards in, it's so 114. And then I just labelled what kind of classes, obviously this is sort of like a rank or whatever um, level and or type of card, rarity, um, I filled in after. So I went straight to number one, decided what it decided that was going to be delta, so I went straight to number one, typed in it's going to be common, what house it belonged to, power and ability if anything. Obviously your game, your game might not even have ability, might not even have what I call acolyte cards. Um, in Pokemon, they'd be Pokemon, and then you go, they're monsters. Or in Vanguard, they're Vanguards. But here, they're acolytes. So I did that, and this is, I've been doing this for about two weeks now. I'm only down to number 41. Um, but that's how I came up with the card list. Okay, so this is how I set about doing the artwork. Um, I'm no artist, so don't judge. But um, I knew what I kind of want. So I'll be sending my basic ideas out to someone and they're going to be fleshing them out. Um, some of you, if you guys are artists in the TCG community and you want to design one of my cards 
and have it in the TCG and donate your time. I will um, reference you on the website and stuff like that, so your art is out there. By all means, contact me and we can get something done. Um, but what I did for this is I got a mechanical pencil, never need sharpening, and a black pen. And I got a fuckload of these um, pens here. This is just short, just a small arrangement of them, but yeah. And then I just sketched out my idea. So this is the first card I wanted done. It's um, a mirror. So in my game, this is the House of Biel. It's dark brooding wants to basically kill everything it feeds on life itself as all um, House of Biel does and then so as you can tell I just want it dark in the background so I've done the main character I can now flesh in the back and make it dark so you can tell it's uh, living in the abyss of nothing. Okay. I'll just carry on with this for a little bit, it's quite therapeutic. But as you can see, I'm very much not an artist and I'm not sure people would actually enjoy seeing this in this form on a TCG that they possibly would be paying for. So you get it. Um, yeah, so that's how I did that. Um, so I'll send this off to someone and then they can go and make it a better version of it, I guess. Um, I also use these pens sometimes if I want to do fine detail, um, just to put the detail in. Okay, so that's how I did the artwork. Okay, so for actually testing the game itself, all I did was go on eBay and search for blank playing cards. You can pick up like 50, come in stats like that. And they're blank on the other side normally, but obviously I've written on these. And they're about three pounds. Let's fuck all. And so what I did then was I literally just wrote my cards out so here we have like my acolyte cards obviously I didn't put any um, uh, what's the word art onto them because hold on let me focus in a bit better um, there's no art because these are just for playing with to get the mechanics and the engines done right That's all I did. So, like, here we go. Here's a seal card. Negate shield booster. These are old. These are actually from. <clears throat> I have new game mechanics now. So, th this this deck is irrelevant and was needed, to be honest, to, to show how irrelevant it was. If I hadn't done this in the first place, I wouldn't have known how to develop the game. So, <clears throat> you may go through various testing stages where you will have to spend a bit of money just on making prototype tiny cards like this um, before you get onto any or sort of real card design which is what I did first um, yeah I my first very first lot I didn't actually have lost I don't know where they are I didn't even write names I just wrote powers and like power levels and stuff like that on them so then once you've got all that done um, your next stage is approaching a company, um, there are companies abroad who do it sort of like in America, who do it professionally, got a couple of quotes off them, you got companies in England that I'm talking to at the moment, I'd prefer to keep it in the UK if possible but if cost is cost at the end of the day as much as I'd like that to happen, is it viable? Uh, 
countries like um, China, Thailand, India, they they can all print and ship. The main main cost though would, would be shipping. Uh, so yeah, so when you've got your idea down, you approach these companies and in the, the other videos that I will do, I will show you how I've done that, um, how I go about that, what you need to do, how much money it's going to cost, and when I say it's going to cost money, it is going to cost money. It's not something you could go and do for £500 or like $500 in your back pocket. You're just not going to get anything. You probably won't even get a prototype deck built. I mean, <clears throat> the amount of these that you'll go through, that's going to cost. I mean, I've paid. I've had to spend at least 40 quid just on blank cards, just to make things work a bit better. Throw cards where you don't need. You know, um, it's not an easy process. It's long. It's hard. But and there's no guarantee that after you invest all that money, people are even going to buy it. Because let's be face it, there are the world is saturated with TCG left, right, and centre. But you know. Um, I'm doing this because I want my own TCG and hopefully you guys might want to play it as well. Um, let's see where we can go, get you guys more involved in the process too. You'll, you'll see some of the beta testing stages <clears throat> and then I'll ask for your advice and stuff. You guys also, if you want, you can ask for an artwork to do and get your artwork onto one of the TCGs, be part of it. Um, yeah. So I'll keep you updated, okay? Just for watching, guys, and as always, don't freak out, geek out. <laughs>